Ayo, what's going on everyone? Nathan here. So the iOS 17 beta was just released to the public this past week and I'm always excited to test out and use the newest features each year to the updated operating system. So iOS 17 doesn't have a huge visual change but there are some welcome new features worth discussing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can also download the public beta for yourself and also cover the biggest features in this update. So let's get into it. So to get the iOS 17 public beta onto your own personal devices, all you need to do is go to beta.apple.com and here you're either going to have to sign up or just sign back in whether or not you've done a beta program before with Apple and then you're going to have to register your device and don't worry, the public beta is completely free. And then once when you do that from that website, you then go to settings, general, software updates, and then here you're going to be able to see beta updates and this is where you'll be able to select the 17.0 public beta for yourself and then you just install it and it's very easy to do. But I do recommend backing up your previous version to like a computer beforehand because this is a beta and there are going to be some bugs and just in case some of them are too crazy and you don't enjoy them you're going to need that backup to get back to the older operating system for later on. So the first new feature I want to talk about are called personalized contact posters and essentially what these are are customizable IDs that other iPhones will see whether you text them or call them as beforehand it was up to the other person to see how like they set up your contact now you have complete control over that and it's just a great way to further express yourself how you want to. So when you first download the beta it'll come up with this option to make it for yourself but if you press save for later if you just want to go back and make some changes you're gonna be able to find this in the contacts app. So you're gonna go to the contacts app and then right here you can already see a preview of what mine looks like but then if you want to further customize it you press edit at the top right edit again and then right here customize go to poster so you can change whatever photo you want you can resize it and refit it I really like how it puts it over the name you can customize the name you can also customize the font if you want to there's different fonts different styles colors there's also like different filters you can put onto it and it's just a great way to really just customize how you want it to look for other people and then this will also transfer over to like your Apple ID and your own contact. And once when I made it here, it already updated on my other devices. So this is definitely just something cool, something a little more unique and customizable. And it just gives you control of how other people see your contacts. So the next application that got a bunch of updates to it is the Messages app. So when you go into a conversation, there's one pretty big interface change you can see, and it's this plus button right here. And then you get this new option menu for all the different tools and things like that that you had in the Messages app beforehand. So the keyboard also got some major updates, and probably the biggest one is that this is now much more accurate at auto-correcting and also predicting text. So now another great thing is that voice messages now has transcription. So when you send someone a voice message, depending on what situation or scenario they're in maybe they don't have time to listen to the message or like they're in just a loud environment and they can't listen to it then they have the option to just read it right there as it's transcribed with it so this is definitely a welcome feature to the messages app so another new feature to messages are their updated stickers and apple bragged about this in their keynote for so long but essentially you can now create a sticker out of almost any subject in a photo so right here i have a wooble if you know what woobles are shout out they're so awesome so all you have to do is hold on the screen and it's gonna do its smart selection feature and then you press add sticker and it's gonna come down here and what's also pretty cool actually is that you can now add effects to these so if you hold down on the sticker you press add effect and there's different ones so that it'll like glisten and move depending on how you move your phone almost like an actual sticker and it's actually pretty cool to see and so essentially once when you have your sticker you can now go back to your messages application go to the stickers part and now you can just drag and drop this within a conversation and you can put it anywhere. So you can see it right there in the middle of the conversation. And as I move this around and rotate it, it'll just adjust the lighting. And actually my friend who doesn't have iOS 17 yet, he's like blown away by the sticker right now. That's actually hilarious. So yeah, that's stickers. And it's just pretty much a gimmicky little feature to have a little more fun within your conversations. But it is pretty cool how you can make a sticker out of almost any photo. So there's also a few other small changes to the Messages app. And one of them being that it'll now notify friends and family when you arrive at your destination nation instead of doing that whole like oh text you when you get home thing and then you like forget and then they get worried it'll now do it automatically and i think that's just a nice little like life of improvement feature you can also now quickly respond to messages by just swiping from the left to right on a message instead of holding and pressing reply it's now just a little faster a little more intuitive and there's also a new catch-up feature which is going to be super helpful for people within large active group chats but essentially if you're away from your phone for a while and a group chat went crazy a whole bunch of messages 
messages instead of trying to find like where you had last left off in the group chat you're gonna be able to press catch up and it'll bring you right to where you last were so it's easier to navigate and to just keep up with what's going on within the group chat So the next new update comes to AirDrop and I love it. I use AirDrop all the time to transfer photos and videos between my devices. And now what's great is that you don't have to be within close proximity to another device to do AirDrop. It can actually work through the same internet connection. Another really awesome thing is that now you can AirDrop between devices just by bringing two phones close together. And it does this really awesome animation that I've seen from other people's videos. I don't have another iPhone to show you this myself, but I'll definitely put like an overlay of that going on in the background. And another really cool feature is called name drop where again when you bring two phones close together It'll actually share contact information So you don't have to play that whole super awkward game where you both take out your phones and whoever gets the contacts first Hands over the phone and you type it in it now just happens very seamlessly through airdrop. I think this is super useful so FaceTime also got a couple notable updates as well. And the first one is that you can now leave FaceTime messages for people. So if you wanna FaceTime someone and they don't pick up and you can actually leave like a voice video call for them to then look at later on to see whatever was happening in that moment or to just get a message from you. And there are also now augmented reality effects that you can command by doing like either a heart, for example, or a thumbs up and it'll do these little like AR effects. That's a little gimmicky, but I'm sure the grandparents will love that and to have some really cool calls with people over FaceTime. So next to iOS 17 is that Siri got some much needed improvements. And so the first one is that instead of saying, hey Siri, now all you have to do is just say Siri and she'll be activated. So next is that Siri now is also better at kind of conversations. And I know the Google Assistant has had this for years, but it's better late than never. So let's give it a go right here. Siri, what's the biggest mm -hmm. animal in the world? The Antarctic blue whale, Balanoptera musculus SSP, and reaching up to 98 feet in length. What about mammals? Here's an answer from Wikipedia. The blue whale is the largest mammal. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> Another really cool thing is that you can out also through Safari, you can have Siri read web pages for you. I think this is super helpful because I listen to podcasts a lot, so I can definitely see this being helpful to now just listen to like articles online. And I really do like this feature about Siri as well. So now next new feature to iOS 17 is called standby mode. And they talked a lot about this in the keynote, but essentially it's gonna be a more minimized, more subtle way of displaying information without your phone being too distracting. All you have to do to activate this is to start charging your phone, turn it sideways, and then press the power button as in turn it off. And then it'll start displaying this. And there's a bunch to choose from as well. So right here, for example, I have my trusty outdated lightning cable. We're gonna plug it in, start charging, and then press the power button. There's a couple different things that will make this useful. The first is that it essentially is just a bigger clock, I guess you could say, and it only displays very minimal information, so your phone won't be too distracting. So for this one specifically, it just has the time, and then it also showed the battery percentage up there, but you can also swipe through to different ones. So this one is gonna be a photos, and it's just gonna scroll through different photos you have within your library. And this one is also a multi-complication one where you have the date on the left, and you can swipe through the clock or whatever. And then on the right, you have other different applications or very common ones that you use within your phone. So this is like my reminders app and you can actually also interact with it as well. And it's gonna ask you to then unlock your phone to further interact with the application. Definitely a cool little feature. I don't know how useful it is, but I'm sure some people out there are gonna really enjoy this. And then one quick side note about standby mode is that at nighttime, it'll recognize that and then it'll enter into a night mode, which will remove all blue lights coming from the screen. So if you were to look at it, those blue lights won't be harmful to you or to help prevent you from falling asleep. So again, just like the Apple Watch Ultra, how that does that at nighttime, they now incorporate it into the standby mode. And the final new feature to iOS 17 is that there are now interactable widgets on the home screen. And so not every stock Apple application has one. There's only a select few, and I really do hope more third-party applications can start to utilize this new software. But for an example, I always have a reminders widget on my home screen. And now what's really cool is that I can just go in and I can check off any tasks I have done throughout the day. And it keeps you from going into the application, especially because so many applications are designed to pull you in and like keep you there, keep you using it. So this is 
another just like nice little feature added to iOS 17. And I really do like how you can now interact with them without having to go into the application itself. So those are all the new notable updates to iOS 17, the ones that I'm personally excited for. And there's a whole bunch of other really tiny updates that I just didn't talk about on this as they're just not that interesting to me, but there's a whole bunch of like little tweaks and changes coming to this system. And again, this is a public beta right now. So there are gonna be some bugs. I really haven't run into that many just yet, but if you can wait off until September when the full iOS 17 will be released to everyone with the new iPhones, then do that. But if you're excited like I am, then download the beta. So that's gonna be the video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe. And as always, have a great day, everyone. Cheers.